Hey everyone, Hi. welcome to my channel. So for today's video, it's all about the most awaited answer. An, an asked question. <laughs> and an asked question that you've been waiting for. So we've been reading your comments. And we realized that a lot of people have wanted to know how exactly we met. So um, I work in a call center um, years already, years ago. And then uh, I had this uh, person that I have actually talked over the phone. And for some reason, he was the only customer I had that time that was so kind. And guess what his Very name kind. was? <laughs> and his name was Scott Smith. Was also Scott Smith. Just like mine. So yeah, so after my shift, I just got curious about him because he said he was a student and stuff like that and he lives in Texas. So I so just she, tumbled so upon... So she finds a guy with shaggy looking hair that looks like he's in college. Yeah, you look like a student on your picture, you know, profile picture. So I, sh I actually shoot him a message and I say, hey, it was nice talking to you over the phone. Thank you for those kind words. I hope you had a great day, kind of like that. And yeah. that's it. I actually did not expect him to respond or whatsoever. I was just, I don't know. I was, I just it was like just responded. taking a shot in the dark. <laughs> not really like that. It was just, I just really, I was just really thankful that time. So yeah. So after like I think two weeks, he responded. And what did he say? It's like, I think you got the wrong Scott Smith, but, uh, but I just kind of like, it's like, oh, but I'm, I'm sorry, uh, dude, who are you? Can we, can we talk? You know, just try to start a conversation. Cause I was like, she's really pretty. I'd like, uh, um, oh. you know, I should, <laughs> maybe I, uh, maybe I should take this as a, as a chance to talk to her, you know? <laughs> yeah. So we, I was actually shocked at times. Oh, okay. So it wasn't you. Oh, I apo apologize kind of like that, but. Yeah, we just said um, it was nice talking to you, and after that, we got completely like silent. Yeah, like we after, quiet. <laughs> like a year, it did not like go to the point where it became like more. Um, what do you call this? Where she's like, "Hey, stupid, I'm interested in you. Will you will you respond to me, please?" <laughs> it wasn't really like that. We just like probably like friends online like that. So yeah. so we did not communicate after a year, and for some reason we got reconnected. I. It was just, I don't know. That's well, what happened. Yeah, we, uh, so we got to, we got to pretty much back together 2017. Yeah, that we, was 2017 when we started like talking again, like more, a lot. <laughs> more serious, something like that. And yeah. he decided to finally see me in person. Yeah, after like seven months of going back and forth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the first plan didn't work. So I thought, mm, okay, you're cross out. So I think you're just playing with me or something like that because it did not happen. But technically what no, happened no, no. was... Because there was a big thing that happened. We Hurricane Harvey came through and then it basically took everything away. I lost my car, lost the house, lost everything I had. So uh, yeah, that kind of threw a wrench in the plan. <laughs> and yeah, and I, I actually believe that because because when I was like talking to my customer that time, because they were also here from the United States, they were like, you know, kind of like, oh my God, please help. Uh, Harvey happened. I'm actually like sleeping here in my car. We did not have electricity or water like yeah. this. That's where I believe that. Oh, the, the bank was busy. It, it really <laughs> happened. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Then after two months, after that, like he decided to come. Yeah, after getting my life back on track in two months, yeah, he decided. I was like, "Let's go see her." All right, I'll book the ticket, and we're gonna we're gonna go see her. That was like November. Yeah. So finally, this time it happened, and then how was it? Got to fly to Japan. It was nice, and then I went to go see. I came straight to you, and. Oh boy, the culture shock. <laughs> yeah, culture shock. <laughs> this was my first time outside of the United States, so 9,000 miles away. It was a different, different way, way of different, living. Way different culture. She took me to her aunt's place first, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it was hot. <laughs> he literally had to like uh, take a shower, like just by the faucet, and it's very cold because there is no like warm water or you know so a cold shower and then the toilets basically it was a hole in the ground that you had to try to like squat down to and it was like <laughs> well that's why i found out that you were when you really take me serious. down to that bathroom i was like is that it and you're just well, like yep 
<laughs> like I really, I really wanted him to see how I live because yeah. that's where I, I, I would find out if you're still interested in me or not. You know, I don't want to pretend some kind of like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't complain. I just, I'm I just a, winged it. <laughs> you know. So yeah. After that, but eventually um, I was like, hey, can we go to a, can we go to a condo or something? <laughs> And yeah. she's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, good. <laughs> I was like, okay, enough of making him, you know, suffer. <laughs> Didn't suffer that bad. I mean, I adapted. It's, it's very adapted. hot. It's very hot because there was no ceiling. So, yeah. yeah. It's, it's the first night hot. I was there, I was like, I, was, I couldn't sleep. <laughs> Before he left, we actually decided to get engaged out of the blue. So, yeah, it, just, it was just random. I don't, I don't it's know. It's supposed to be an though. arcade date, I, but I just kind of yeah. decided I'm just going to propose to her. Yeah, yeah, so there's no fancy, nothing. It's just, he just proposed and yeah, we're, we're engaged. <laughs> and then when he went back here, like, yeah, we continued to communicate more. I was like, oh, I, I think this is, you know, something real already. Because, you know, when you're in a dating, we dating were engaged. side. Of course it was real. <laughs> well, I don't even know because, you know, who knows? You change your mind after you got here. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but after that. Six times. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> after that, like three months after he visited me, he, visited he came again. back again. In the span of two years, he visited me six times. Yep. It was, uh, <laughs> uh that was a lot of, that was a lot of flying. The 18, lot of 18 flying. to 20 hours of flying back and forth for quite a while. I actually tried to come over here to the U.S. to visit him. But the thing is, embassy in the Philippines is very, very strict. very strict. I tried three times and they declined my application three each time. times yeah, each time. as well. So, yeah, it's it was like, hard. All right, if I have to, I'll fly all the way back over there again because you know you're worth it. So, yeah, I know. <laughs> so, yeah. And then it after that, that's, that's, it did not stop there. Like our struggle did not stop there. So when we finally decided that I, he, like, he, like he would bring me here, so we started the application, but it took four years. Four and a half years for waiting me for that to application. Come here. Yep. So that four years, my application was just pending. Just, just sitting there with, with the cobwebs growing on it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how it happened, but... Yeah, and we'll go. We'll go into a lot more detail about yeah. how the whole process and stuff went, but it's just, later on in another video, maybe. But uh. yeah, but that's what happened. It was a lot of you know. It's so it was a lot of patience for patience. both of us, which both of us lack severely, but we still did. We still did it somehow. And trust. Yeah, and she and she made it here. Yeah, I made it here. So that's about it. That's that's how we met. I hope you find this story interesting. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, please do. And don't forget to like and share this video. And if you're in a long distance relationship, don't give up. Don't quit. Yep, just keep going. Keep look, going. look at this. We made it work, you keep know. Love burning. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>